how important is YouTube today still in your life? Like, are you still posting as many videos? I took a pause from YouTube specifically okay. because things just started getting a little crazy. I think I've always been very unfiltered right. and shared all aspects of my life. But as the attention and you know the followers and all that other stuff started growing, it's like you're subjected to so much more than just you know, a couple comments or whatever. How do you deal with like the negative backlash and like negative comments and do you read them? I do see them every now and again. Okay. And for me, I just say, if I survived high school, I could literally survive anything. Right. I've been called every name in the book. Right. And there's really nothing that surprises me anymore. But you know, every now and again, I'll have a clap back moment. What would you say drives you to succeed? I just want to be a badass bitch and I just want to, make every possibility and every thing that anyone has ever told me I couldn't do a reality. I've just always been super hungry to achieve and just prove people wrong. I love that. But also yeah. prove myself wrong. Right. I think that's like another thing too. One funny thing is like I checked it off my list. This is I like ended up hooking up with my school bully and it just was like a power move to me more than anything. But <laughs> I was just like, 100%. Nah. like that is probably Crazy. the biggest flex. That's kind of bad. That's kind of bad. All right, so take us back to the beginning because I'm so curious. I need to know the whole story. The whole story, like we're talking like all the way back to when I was like a man? Yes. Um, I started uh, in Virginia. So okay. I grew up in Springfield, Virginia, a really small town. And for me personally, I always knew I was a little bit different. And, uh, you know, I was a little bit smaller than everyone, a little bit more feminine. And being in a small town, I really didn't have that many friends. So I turned to online, basically, to try to make something of myself. And I just had such a business mentality about it. I saw people having followers. So I was like, how do I get on these platforms? Right. You know, I just sort of wanted to live an online life. And being online, no one knew I was either a boy or a girl. They just saw me from me. And I started doing makeup and sharing a little bit of my story. I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna come out. Like I wanna come out, but I just felt trapped in my life. And I decided, okay, if I record a YouTube video and I come out on YouTube and I post it, then I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I am transgendered. And it ended up going viral. And How many views does that have today? Oh my God, a couple million. Okay. But it was just so shocking because at the time, you know, I wasn't out and then that's how like a lot of my parents figured out or like cousins and aunts and uncles and all sorts of friends. They're like, wait, you're, huh? That was my way of coming out um, online. Oh, Canes? Yes, of course. I love Canes. Do you actually? I'm a big Canes fan. Okay. Um, Oh my God, the line is huge. Yeah, how do we get in? I thought you said you had a plug here. I thought you said you were VIP member. Oh my gosh, here she goes. All right, let's go. I'm ready. We're back again. Oh. <laughs> Did you know it's so crazy today? You're just too famous. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Like, that was a cute one. That was insane. You blew my mind. Maybe it's the car. They didn't even see it. All right, guys, let us know what you thought of Nikita's ride in the comments below. To check out more incredible cars, be sure to click here. And don't forget to subscribe for all new episodes of Drive.